The game that we have decided to do for our Let's Play analysis is on Osu. Osu is a free rhythm based computer game that belongs in the journal of music. Osu is an exceptionally successful game among its general due to how developers of the game strive to cater to as many different players with various skills, skill levels, and enjoyment interests within the game within the general of music. Additionally, the developers of Osu have made a rhythm based game that significantly differs from other rhythm based game through giving substantial freedom that allows players to participate in the community. In looking at how developers of Osu have made this game so that it is suitable for many different players, it is apparent through the presentation of the single player and multiplayer tabs. Osu can be catered towards players that want to focus on achieving a higher top score and reduce the amount of distractions through playing by themselves in single player, as well as the player that just want to enjoy socializing with other players through playing multiplayer. Moreover, Osu has made it catered towards players with different skill levels through the various difficulties that are present as stars, with one star songs being perceived as an easy song, while an eight star song being perceived as a difficult song. These differing song difficulties are due to various factors, however the main elements that impact the complication is through the speed that the circles and sliders appear, the size of the circles and the numbers of circles within the song. Through taking these factors into account, a program calculates what the star level of the song will be. The goal of Osu is to timely tap the circles that appear on the screen when the outer ring shrinks to meet the outer end of the circle. How a person moves and taps is through the use of a mouse or a tablet and with the keys on the keyboard. Along with tapping circles, there are also other game objects such as the sliders where you must hold the key and drag in the direction of the slider, as well as the spinner where you must hold the button and spin continuously until the spinner disappears. Through tapping these circles, sliders, and spinning spinners in a timely fashion, a player builds up a point that accumulate to form the score at the end of the song. A player can reach a higher score through the building up of a combo. In having consecutive hits of circles, sliders, and spinning of spinners successfully, when a player fails to tap a circle, slider, or spins a spinner unsuccessfully, they will break their combo and face a diminish of their health bar. After consecutive misclicks and spinner failures, putting their health meter to zero, the player will have failed the song, ultimately making them either restart the song or quit. When a player completes a song, they may or may not obtain a reward in the form of performance points. The harder the difficulty of the song, the greater the performance points that are offered to the player upon successfully completing the song. Through the accumulation of more performance points, it can be used to determine where a player is ranked on the OSU leaderboards, ultimately depicting what their skill level is. Through this ranking system, it can be concluded that those players that belong in the achievement group of the gamer motivation model would enjoy playing this game. Moreover, in looking at how the developers have made it easy for the community to participate to the game, one way is through the creation of beat maps. Beat maps are the circles, sliders, and spinners that players add within a song. These beat maps can be freely created by the players through the edit option on the home screen. After the completion of these beat maps by the players, they can then share it across other members through uploading onto the Osu beat map page, where when they are given enough recognition by the community, it will be published and ranked so that other players can obtain performance points for successfully completing the beat map. Furthermore, another way that developers have made it easy for the community to participate within Osu is through the ability for players to create their own skins. Skins can change the visual layouts of the game, either for helping players improve their gameplay in reducing the clutter and distractions that appear on the screen, or for just the love of the aesthetics of the skin itself. Skins made by players can be shared to other OSU players 
through the uploading onto the OSU skins database.